Steve Des Moines police say they really want to stress voluntary compliance. Maybe cooler weather had people social distancing Wednesday, or perhaps more generously, people got the message. On Tuesday, many got a little close for comfort at Gray's Lake. Since March, social distancing has been the rule in Iowa, with gatherings of more than 10 banned. Governor Reynolds was asked about her order Wednesday. We've seen that people could say that, oh, you know, a group of fewer than 10 people can come to my house for uh, dinner parties so long as it's uh, you know, 10 or less. Can you clarify? That yeah, I wouldn't do that, Should Caroline. Doing something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm not suggesting that, but we have put out an order that you can't socially gather in groups of more than 10. Be responsible. But so far, Des Moines police haven't issued any citations. Sergeant Paul Parizic explains. I think what we've found is that voluntary compliance is coming along very quickly. Um, people, they don't want to mess with this any more than we do. So when we tell them to break up, they have. Parizic says officers focus on educating residents and businesses. While a last resort, citations or arrests could still follow flagrant violations. Something that arguably fits the bill happened in rural Greene County Friday when deputies issued 47 citations after what the sheriff called a large beer party. But Parizic says a majority of reported incidents in Des Moines haven't actually been violations. It's just been people that are really concerned about what's going on. And it's important to note once again that you can and should really go outside still. Just be sure to stay away from anybody who's not in your household. Live tonight in Des Moines, Chris Gothner, KCCIA News, Iowa's News Leader.